Hey, I just want to give you guys a kid's warning here. If you're driving around with kids in the car this early, we're about to talk about the sex, okay? So the bottom line here is she feels like he's not good enough to date, but he is good enough for her to continue to have sex with. And she's trying to figure out a way to tell him that without offending him. I don't know if that's a compliment or not. That was her question. Okay, so I've got a friend that works in the Northeast, and I think her thinking is more guyish than it is womenish. Does that make sense? It does. Does it? You know, her sensibilities are just kind of like she's like beer drinking. Ah, my buddy, yeah. dude, right? Mm-hmm. So she and I are catching up the other day, and before we stop texting, she says, "Question: When you were single, would you have been offended if a girl told you?" She didn't want to date you, but just wanted to have casual sex with you. Okay? <laughs> mm-hmm. I want to get you guys in on this also. one 855 So I write, is this like a trick question or something? Am I supposed to respond that I'd be appalled? And then she wrote, ha, no. I've gone out with a guy for about a month, but I'm really not interested in dating him. But our chemistry in bed, she writes, is generational. <laughs> <laughs> now, when you're talking about a generational talent, you're yeah. talking about LeBron. Yes, yeah, sir. All right? Once That's in a perfect. lifetime, Once in a baby. lifetime. So their sex is generational, she says. <laughs> I love this girl. Uh, I wrote generational. I love it. Why don't you want to date him? And she hits me back, and she says, well, he's just kind of mad. I don't know. I don't really connect with him in conversations. He's kind of boring. We're not really into the same things. But we hooked up a couple of times, and man, this dude is gifted in all the right areas, she says. So I write her back, or text her back, and I say, uh, and you can't separate the two? And she says, oh, hell yes. All right, so you need a way to tell him you don't want to date, but you still want to F, like friends with benefits? And she says, I don't really want to be friends either. (laughs) (laughs) I love her. Just benefits, please. <laughs> yep. Um, she said, I don't really want to be friends with the dude either. I just want to have sex with him when I'm horny. That's exactly what she writes. Wow. Yep. Uh, and I said, can I take this to the Burt Show fam? And she said, did you really think that I wanted your advice? <laughs> yes, please ask them. She writes, ha, huh? I don't quite know the right words to use to not offend them. Like, hey, I'm not interested in anything but your D. You cool with that? Uh, and I wrote, that probably would have worked on me. Uh, LOL, I'll ask. So I'm asking you guys. one 855 Show. Katie, you can get in on this also. Maybe if a woman approaches you with the same type deal, like, hey, you know what? The vibe is not there as far as like anything except in bed. And I think we're both feeling that. So how, how do you say that with him like you immediately said without him being offended? Right. Ironically enough, it I do feel like this is a situation that if a man were in, he... He should appreciate it. He shouldn't take it bad. But this happened to me when I was younger, and I felt away. I was I was shocked by it because I didn't think I would. But she basically told me the same exact thing, and I went to my male friends about it, <laughs> and they were like, "What's wrong with you, bro? Like that's <laughs> Merry Christmas. Like why do you care?" But yeah. I was like, "I feel like a piece of meat, man." Yes, you know what I mean. Um, so you were more offended by the insult of her saying, "Look, the the friend." Chemistry is not there, but the sexual chemistry is off the charts. You were more offended by the first part. Yeah, by the fact that she, she felt like I wasn't good enough to be a boyfriend. So just, yeah, just that. She, and she's saying he's not only not good enough to be my boyfriend, he's not good enough to even be a friend. I don't even want to talk to you. Just come in here and get naked. <laughs> don't even talk. Just get naked, Katie. First of all, I applaud her for this because I've done this before. Um, <laughs> How do you say that to somebody? Yeah. Right. Uh, How'd you pull that off? It it was kind of a, hey, I know romantically we are not going to work out, <laughs> but would you still be interested in us just, you know, being physical? Mm-hmm. How do you feel about that? <laughs> She was upset. (laughs) (laughs) But I did try it. (laughs) She was upset. (laughs) Maybe the trick is to lead with the positive. Like, man, our physical life is amazing. Generational. Generational. Mm. I want to continue this, but... No, that doesn't work either. I'm telling you, at some point you got to get to the I don't want to talk to you at all part. And then that that's hurtful, man. <laughs> it just, ouch. Or what if she just asks, you know, hey, what do you think about our sex life that we have? You like it, right? 
And he's going to say, oh, I think it's amazing. I'm enjoying this so much. Then let's keep doing it at night or whenever the time <laughs> is. <laughs> and um, that'll be it. Like, you just start off with, if you like this, I think we should keep doing this. Mm-hmm. But don't ask to hang out. Is I, there a night, nice way she can start off and say, just We're don't asking you that. I don't know. That's as, what I would think. As a man, that don't sound too bad. Mm-hmm. Right? Like, if you hear that, I, I, I'm kind of okay with that. Chase, good morning. You're part of the Burt Show. Hello. Hey, uh, if I'm being honest, uh, Mo hit it right on the nose, but it does kind of uh, depend on uh, which girl is telling you this, if that makes sense. That's a fact. Yeah. Um, what's it called? You know, if you feel some sort of way type girl, and then, you know, she says she only wants your meat. You know. <laughs> like, if you, if you really like her and you're into her, it's going to hurt. Mm-hmm. But if you are, like, kind of just, eh, with her, we just cool. I feel like you'll accept it a little easier. I also feel like it's one of those things that even if you're just kind of eh with her, you're still offended by it. You think so? <laughs> yeah. uh, I, don't, I think most guys wouldn't care. I'll take it. Cass? Man, I think this is awesome and super hypocritical, too, if mm-hmm. women are like, I'm not for it, because that's what we want to know. Do you want to date us or do you want to just sleep with us? Like, what is this? And to have that kind of communication, like, I feel like if I were in the dating world and someone came to me and was, I want to be upfront with you. I'm not looking for a relationship. I don't think it's going to vibe that way. But would you be open to this instead? I'd probably say no, but I would also really appreciate that you didn't string me along and waste my time. Cass, we you know wanna- what I mean? Like, you were upfront with what <laughs> you wanted. We want to we, we wanna date you or we don't want to date you until we know that you don't want to date us. <laughs> That's and, how it works. And now we want to date. <laughs> the man is right. And y'all say women are complicated. Okay. <laughs> Remy, good morning. You are part of the Bircha. Good morning, guys. Hey. I actually just got to work, so I'm going to make this quick and fast. Okay. But um, now I hear everybody's and now I have a mixed emotion, <laughs> but I'm just an honest person. So I'm just like, cool. Well, then we can do that. It's basically off of how that person feels. And that's just how I, I said a totally different uh, thing to the other guy, but yeah, <laughs> I originally just said that's a trophy screw. There yeah. you go. If he doesn't want to continue, then yeah. okay, well, that one was for the books. Yeah, it is a trophy screw. I'm right? mad at that. Yeah. yeah. And I got that big old Marlin, man. Same, same yes. idea. Yes, sir. I didn't want to talk to it. I didn't want to date it. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to hang out. Just want to hold it up. I just wanted to stuff it and put it on my wall. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so she should just go for it. And I mean, the chips are going to fall where they are, but she at least got to go. If it's generational, it's worth the ask. You got to shoot mm-hmm. your shot, right? The Burt Show. Like what you just watched, where well, you can get a lot more of The Burt Show for free on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your favorite podcasts.